Hello, thanks for making the time to watch this video. My name is Shia Nafti. I'm a Google authorized trainer. I travel around the world delivering training to Google's clients and partners. In today's session, we're going to explore Anthos config management. Let's get started by installing the tools we're going to need during the course of the demo. We're going to start off by installing Tree. Tree is a Unix utility that enables us to explore a directory structure. Next, we're going to download and install Nomos. Nomos is a utility provided by Google. It enables us to validate our configuration as well as check the status of the config management environment. Let's move on to the next step where we're going to enable APIs to services we're going to use during the demo. Having enabled the APIs, we're now going to create our Kubernetes engine cluster. The Kubernetes engine cluster we're going to create will be located in the US. In Iowa, the zone is US Central 1B. The cluster will be made up of virtual machines of the N1 standard 4 type. We're going to enable auto scaling with the ability to scale to up to two nodes, starting with just one node. Having created the cluster, we're going to retrieve its credentials. We're going to create a cluster role binding with a cluster role of cluster admin in order to grant cluster admin privileges to the current user. Let's download and apply the config management operator in step number four. We're going to download the operator from a cloud storage bucket. Once the YAML file is downloaded, we're going to apply it on the cluster using the kubectl command. The next step focuses on the configuration of the repository for our configuration files. Let's clone some sample YAML files from the Git repository csp-config-management. Let's copy the content we've just cloned from the Git repository into our working directory. Let's begin the Git configuration by setting the email for the current user. Let's configure the username. Let's change into the root directory of the cloned repository. Let's use tree to view the structure of the directory. Under namespaces, we have namespace folders and configuration files that are applicable within those namespaces. Let's initialize our Git repository. Let's add the content of this folder into Git. Let's commit the content. Let's create a repository on cloud source repositories. Let's supply the credentials required for Git access. Let's add the remote repository as origin. 
let's push the content of origin into the master branch of the cloud source repository we've just created. Let's generate the SSH key pair to be used for Git access. Let's enable access to the key from within the Kubernetes cluster by creating a Kubernetes generic secret. Let's view the key file. Next, we're going to navigate to cloud source repositories and register the SSH key. To do that, we're going to scroll down to the tools section and select source repositories. We're then going to click on the three dots on the right and select Manage SSH Key. Then select the button Register SSH Key. Let's specify our password to log in. Let's give the key a name. Let's copy the key. Let's paste the key here and register. Let's return to our Cloud Shell console. In step number six, we're going to configure config management access to the cloud source repository to allow config management to manage configuration files in this repository. To enable Config Map to work with the Cloud Source repository we created on the Google Cloud Platform, we're going to apply this configuration. This configuration specifies the cluster, the repository, and the branch. In the next step, we're going to use Nomos to verify the status. You can see here that the status is synced, which means that everything was properly configured. Let's validate the YAML files in the repository using Nomos. No errors were returned, implying that the YAML files are all valid. Let's move on to the next step and explore config management operations. We're going to start by describing an existing namespace, which is under the management of config management. I would like to draw your attention to one of the annotations, the annotation config management.gke.io slash managed enabled. This is the annotation that enables config management to assume the responsibility for managing this configuration file. Let's delete this namespace and observe what happens. You can see that the namespace was deleted. Let's get the namespace to see if config management recreated it. And you can see that the namespace exists. It's been in existence for 12 seconds, which means it was recreated by config management. Let's describe another configuration. This configuration is a cluster role binding. You can see in this configuration, that there is a user defined. The user is Cheryl at fullcorp.com. Let's edit the cluster role binding and add a new user, Jane. We 
We're going to do that from the Cloud Shell editor. I'm going to navigate to the subject section and add the configuration for the user Jane. Let's use Nomos to validate the configuration we've just created. No errors were returned. Let's carry on. Let's change into the directory for the configuration file. Let's add the change to Git. Let's commit the change. Let's push the change to the master branch. Let's describe the cluster role binding to check if Config Manager applied the configuration. And you can see here that Config Manager applied the configuration. The reason Config Manager applied the configuration was because of this annotation. The annotation configmanagement.gke.io slash manage, this is set to enable, which means that this configuration is under the management of Config Manager. Let's revert this change. Let's push the original configuration to the master. Let's describe the cluster role binding to see if the change was reverted by Config Manager. This implies that once the change was reverted in the Git repository, Config Manager noticed that the configuration file had changed and applied the new version of the configuration file against the cluster. This concludes our exploration of Anthos Config Management. Hope you enjoyed the session. Have a nice day.